Mike, uh, search break coach lost. Yeah. You know, a couple specific things you in this stretch you want to fix, or is it just as simple as being a man down? We're, we're um, I'm I'm really battling uh, the thing, Mark. Um, BC Wake Forest and Clemson tonight. Um, you know, could play uh, had the ability to play a bigger lineup. Now I have a hard time matching up with that. I I'm I'm counteracting that with you know a big lineup of of our own. Um, our spacing, our ball movement, uh, shot selection at times is not what it has to be. Um, and missing another guy that can uh, that can stretch in and make make a shot. Basili's playing good basketball for us, uh, but. Um, um, you know, they, they, you know, each of those teams played a little bit better than we did. I mean, it's just a bottom line. Uh, hate it, feel like a dog, uh, but um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll be fine. Anthony? Mike, I don't mean to beat a dead horse. I know you said Hunter was close. On yeah, you know, he had a little setback. So did Rodney Rice, all right? So there's your injury up, update. Mike Darius had had a really explosive yeah, first he half. Yeah, he did. He said he told me a couple weeks ago that he he was going to shoot his way out of his slump. He couldn't really get going in the second half. But what what did you like about what you saw from him in that explosive great, first yeah, half? Great cutting, great uh, great uh, read of, uh, of of a number of uh, screens. Um, he got those toes to the basket, and his shoulders are. He looked uh, he looked like uh, Darius Maddox. Um, you know, we had a couple of things on for him in the second half. I'm not sure the uh, sure the outcome. We had a 99, which we uh, had been successful for us in the first half. Um, you know, and and I I I must say they've got a pretty good outfit. Uh, they got a good basketball team. He's a heck of a coach, and I've known him for a long, long time. Uh, they uh, are always tough and d difficult to uh, to uh, to play, and uh, and they. You know, they, uh, I, I didn't think you could ever limit us to 35% that I hear uh, from, uh, from the field. Holy cow. Um, you know, we got, uh, we got some work to do. We'll figure it out. Mike, you mentioned that Clemson has the ability to play big. Did that contribute to your squad shooting 27.9% inside the arc tonight? Uh, Dave, I don't know the answer to that, and that, that's a that's an interesting. That's not real good. Um, Twenty-seven point three in the second half. Um, let me uh, let let me uh, let me look at it. Uh, that's uh, that's that's uh, awful. Again, a, a shot selection is taking a, a dip here. Um, you know, is that uh, my fault with what uh, what we're trying to do? I think what we're trying to do is out of necessity right now. Um, so, you know, and then, you know, couple that with P.J. Hall, who can step out and make a shot. And lo and behold, the Godfrey kid, made number 22, uh, made uh, made two. You know, and I think he was two for nine coming into the game. Um, but tip your cap to, uh, to that kid. Now, he almost knocked the board down in the second half. But that's a game, man. That's a game. Counteract, big on big on big, body on body. Mike, what was the message in the locker room, given the losing streak and given that you're facing a tough NC State team in yeah, um, three days? You know, I, I'm, and hope Pouton. Uh, you know, the only answer we have is uh, to come back tomorrow and practice well. They will, um, and uh, clean this up. We got some, you know, we got some corrections to make. We've got to make some improvements in uh, in some areas. Um, and you turn your attention to the uh, to the Wolfpack. I think they beat uh, Duke tonight. Uh, so you know, uh, no rest for the weary. We got to play better basketball and find a way to win. And then, how much encouragement on the offensive glass? You guys out did them twelve to two in offensive rebounding. How yeah, much I think those two. I think those two rebounds were in the first half too. Um, you know, they don't. Um, it's not a big emphasis for them. They want to get their defense set. That's why. Uh, Moving in transition against them is, is really hard, but um, you know we did not rebound great. Uh, we out rebounded Wake Forest. I thought that was a bit of a 
mirage. Uh, I didn't think we rebounded as well there as the numbers would uh, would would tell you. Um, and Boston College, you know, outworked us in uh, in that uh, area a little bit in the second half. So certainly encouraging, yeah. Mike, what makes Hunter Tyson such a valuable player? Well, he's been around about 19 years, uh, like uh, like Justin. So he's seen everything. Um, he's a remarkable kid. He's gotten better and better and better. Um, you know, I mean, he's really shooting the ball. I think he was the ACC Player of the Week last week. Correct me if I'm wrong. I watched him play um, – uh, watched a lot of them, I'm sorry. Uh, NC State at Clemson on Saturday, and he had 30 points and 14 rebounds, and he was he was really good. Uh, so, um, you know, a kid I admire and uh, just – you know, those guys that hang in there and um, he enjoys Clemson, he enjoy playing for Coach Brownell, and you know he is uh, he's strung together a, a very good career, and certainly this year is uh, through 15 games, whatever they played, he's been uh, he's been awfully, awfully good. Mike, you mentioned corrections. Other than the shot selection you referred to as already, what any other corrections you're looking know, for? I don't know. You know, 12 assists and 11 turnovers. Golly, day. That's and we've had 13, 13, and 11. Um, uh, assists are, should be typically 17, 18, 19. Um, we've got to get some things. We've got to get some things. Uh, the floor, sp- uh, we got to get off the top, um, and that uh, that's on me. Uh, so we, we continue to work on it. We were better in spots tonight, but not not uh, not quite good enough. Mike, did, <clears throat> did you think? Mutz on Tyson, and then the combination of Lynn Kidd and Poteet on PJ Hall were pretty effective defensively tonight. I told uh, told Zach and Burnup out there. Um, I catch myself watching film of our opponent, thinking, "Is there any way we can guard Mutz on both people, on two people?" And I can't. Um, I just uh, as good as PJ is. And as well as he, as well as he's played here over the last uh, three weeks, just thought Hunter Tyson was going so well that uh, we had to, we had to negate something. We couldn't be bouncing around. Now the matchup with Hunter Tyson is confused. Now if I put Mutz on uh, on PJ Hall, all right, Basili's not nearly the matchup uh, as good a matchup on Tyson. Uh, Lynn Kidd. Uh, m- maybe, but you know Tyson's a mover. I mean, he's a mover, and he's in and out of stuff, and they're screening for him and exit stuff. Um, and you gotta you gotta know how to na- navigate uh, that that sort of thing as as much does and 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 does it very very well. And, and was that the kind of shot you wanted from Padula? No, uh, well, what was the three? Was the three? Yeah. You know, it's a seven point four. Um, we wanted to get a flat ball screen. Um, we wanted to get a flat ball screen on him and see if we could pull uh, Hunter off of uh, Grant and throw back there, uh, get something, you know, uh, with the uh, floor broken up. Maddox is on the floor. Maddox is in front of me. So we had some things. Uh, we had some things on. Uh, you know, he made the right. Pl- he made the wrong play. He'd be the first to admit it. Thanks, guys. Dave, good to have you.